Bill, Tom Harford from the Note Campaign. Yeah, you brought the whole posse with you, huh? I'm not changing my mind. We already paid for those vans, Mr. Butler. $900 for one day. Yeah, it was $900, but now it's $10,000. Excuse me? The Newport campaign offered me ten dollars to just rent the vans and park them somewhere. So I'm going to tear up your contract, and I'm going to take the money. Anything else? No? Great. Well, what now? He's just playing hardball. Let me tell you how it's going to go down. In a few minutes, we'll walk in there, we'll give him our demands, and then BAM! I start crying. <laughs> we need the man, Silver, please, give the man, please. We need the man. If you let Newport have the vans, they just sit there in a lot. If you let us have the vans, they drive around town all day. Free publicity. Everyone will see your logo, which is you all pressed up on some chick with huge cans. Yeah, it's a hell of a day. People need to know about it. And I don't need free publicity. I can just pay for it with my $10,000. Look, I ain't gonna try to play a player. You're trying to get buku bucks just like the rest of us. So how about this? I have a business idea for a gourmet alcoholic yogurt. I call it Yogurt Platinum. I'll let you in on the ground floor. And let me tell you, it's gonna be worth way more than 10 grand. Yeah, but now that I know your bad idea, I can start the company myself with my $10,000. No, you can't do that, Ron! Tom, Donna, could you please give us a moment? I'd like to talk to Bill man to man. He's gonna steal Yogurt Platinum. No, I'm not. Look, friend, I respect your slavish devotion to the free market, but you can't welch on a contract. <laughs> Where I come from, a man's word is sacred. Okay, what's your stance on pinky swears, George Washington? I'm taking the money. Fine, I'll match it. I'll give you 10,000 for the vans. Deal? No, price has gone up. Now it's 12,000. What? Why? Look. I own a fleet of 22 crappy white vans, and for some reason, there's a massive bidding war going on over them. Now, for a guy whose only assets are 22 crappy white vans, it's pretty much a dream scenario. So I'm just gonna ride this out, see where it takes me. And now it's 15. There's no vans within 50 miles, and for some reason, no one wants to lend me $10,000. Even if we had the dough, that bunko artist would just demand more, trust me. Don't move. Let's just stay here for like an hour and not let him out. This isn't right. Our girls worked hard. We're so close. Whoa. <laughs> I know he didn't just hit my baby. Hey, what the hell, guys? Move. All right. Y'all got your seatbelts on? Oh! Did you see that? That son of a bitch just rear-ended me. Am I dead? What the hell? Exactly, Bill. What the hell? You just rear-ended me. That is not what happened. But I got witnesses. Yeah, it went down exactly the way my girl said it did, you mean bald man. Hey, what about you, Mr. Uh, a man's word is sacred? Well, it is, but you're an ass So we can settle this now. I will accept payment in van rentals. Yeah! <laughs>